This is the EVA MCS, and this is a generation one lock that um, I've pinned up or have reassembled with just one sidebar um, and four rotors. So here you can see the, the key, um, and I'll show the key working very smoothly. This lock is very smooth because the rotors give no feedback really at all. Um, you can see as you you uh, withdraw the, the rotors are scrambled and the lock is locked back up. If the ball bearing was in place at the back this would not uh, move at all but since the ball bearing is not there it's allowed to go into this uh, pretty deep false set. But then the sidebar kicks in and, and locks. So you can see again works beautifully with the key. And there we have it. Put in our tension wrench. And you just thing in place. All right. Here we go. And there we have it.
picked. You can see um, in this case also the only thing once it's picked um, you could keep going around and around. So once your your eight in this case just four, but once your eight rotors would be aligned, um, you can then um, you would just have to press the press the ball bearing at the back here. So now I'm going to attempt to gut this lock, although doing so is not too easy. But let's go ahead and take it out. So first step is. Um, Putting it back upright. This is the bolt catch at the back. It's just there to keep the, the plug from walking out on me. Normally we'd have another mechanism that would uh, actually do the throwing. And let's see if we can pull this guy out. Okay, I will need a to get them out of there probably. Occasionally this can be pretty tough to... get to come straight out. There's a little bracket at the back that needs to be... engaged just right. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. All right. So now I'll do this from the front of the camera and make sure I can keep this guy in frame. So let's keep coming out. And we have the little clips at the back that are falling off. That's fine. All right. Here is the core. tray. Okay, bear with me a second. All right, this is gonna be a lot easier. There we go. So, let's go ahead and get just a little bit more light over here if we can. And go ahead and take this guy apart. So, first thing we have is the sidebar. As mentioned, uh, the other side does not have the sidebar. But I will be making a future video with uh, that in place. This is the split ring at the back that um, is what pushes against the sidebar to travel it forward. Here we go with the sidebar. And I'll get some close-ups of all this after I take it apart. Get this reset ring at the top. And this is the outer sidebar cover. set that aside. Here's the inner sidebar. As you can see, hopefully you can see it still has its little grooves on it. Nothing tampered with. And there are our four rotors. So let's go ahead and... There's not quite all that much light here, but let's go ahead and... get this guy apart. I'll take out, go ahead and take out the rotors so you guys can fully see them. Um, uh, this one, this one, the first one has only a single gate on it.
Well, I'll go ahead and take out the other ones. They're a little bit easier. Number two has two gates. The three has three gates. I'm putting them spaced out here just because uh, I don't want them. They are magnets and they'll pull towards themselves. So, and number one, if I can get that out of there. Maybe if I put it over this way and then doing this around the camera is a little bit fiddly. Go this way. Okay, I'm just gonna dump this guy out. Hope he doesn't shoot. There's probably some kind of tool for this, but uh, so I don't have that. Aha! There we go. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So let me see if I can get everything in focus. Let's see. Oh, just a little bit too close. Go ahead and go into, you can see here, maybe I'll take a flashlight just to give us a little bit more light. You can see here we have a single gate, two gates, three gates, and also three gates. Um, our sidebar here has the three grooves, and if we flip it over, this is also the um, the part that interfaces with the first. If we look here, sorry, this. Okay, this pin here that my tweezers are holding on to interfaces with the first rotor, and if we go up here to the sidebar, these three pins here interface with the other three rotors. So you can see there's a little hole right here in the sidebar. That's where the fourth pin from this guy goes through the plastic. If I turn this around, um, that's in the correct orientation. So it goes through that hole there and that's the only interfacing with the inner sidebar. And let's see, on our actual core, these are of course the four rotor spots. You can see there's a, a nice little um, extra magnet there that I believe um, Huxley had told, he thinks that that's for um, anti-reading uh, attacks or impressioning attacks of being able to, um, with a picked lock, being able to determine the correct um, key. If we spin this guy over, you can see there's six passive ball bearings. One of mine fell out with little dimples. I guess they didn't work. This is the active ball bearing, um, which again is not in the lock, um, just for ease of not having to press that guy, but I, I could put it back in. And then this is the other side, which of course I had mentioned is not there. So I have a little work, more work to do on tooling and um, once I do that, I will be able to post a full video with a full pick and gut, all four rotors. Um, it'll probably take me about double the amount of time that you saw here to be able to pick one, so I don't know if that was five or eight minutes or wherever we were at, but uh, that's, that's about the limitation of, of my current skill. I'm sure as I get better, I may be able to pick these a little bit faster. There you have it. Um, 
let me know if you'd like to see anything else and clarify anything about this extremely cool, um, extremely amazingly engineered, in my opinion, uh, block. Thank you all very much.